What's up guys, Dejan here. I've got three tips that'll help your hotkeys become a little bit more efficient. The first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is set up a dedicated garbage key, which will remove any units you have selected from any other control group. The second thing I'm gonna show you how to do is set up multiple rapid fire hotkeys. And the third thing I'm gonna show you how to do is set up your hotkey so that you don't have to worry about the select larva key anymore. All right, so let's get into it. The garbage key is essentially uh, just a dedicated control group that you're not currently using. So for example, control group 10 by default is bound to zero. Um, if you never use that control group, that would be a perfect one to set up for this. And we're gonna just dedicate a key to assigning and stealing units from, or, and taking away units from other, other control groups. So create and control group 10 is under global, it's under control groups, um, by default, this is Alt-0, like this. I'm going to set it to Caps Lock, okay? Accept, accept, return to game. Now I've got my main army on one. Every time I hit one, it selects them. I'm going to box some stuff off, hit Caps Lock, and then tap one. And now they're gone. This is really good for splitting up armies when you're getting multi-pronged. It's also really good for um, Ling Baneling Micro and uh, setting up your own multi-prong attacks as well. So it's just a very useful thing to have. Um, you know, you can do this by default by hitting alt and a control group, but having a dedicated button is really, really nice. So that's the first thing. The second thing is setting up multiple rapid fire hotkeys. So, um, you need to have at least one set up for this, for, to, to set up multiple. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. Um, you go to your hotkeys and you go to global unit management and look for choose ability or AI target. In here, you want to set uh, your secondary option to your whatever rapid fire you use, for example, C. And this will allow you to, um, without left clicking, click uh, basically select the uh, ability as well as uh, where it's gonna where it's gonna go. Right. So now, let's say I wanted to add R because I want to add parasitic bomb to um, to a rapid fire key. Right. But I've already got C on there. And I don't want, and then C is also on consume, so I want to keep that. So what you're going to do is, in the background, when you change something in your hotkey profile, it creates a file that has everything that's different from standard in it. And so what we need to do is go into that text file and um, add new keys to it. So here's the path to the text file. It's uh, in your users folder. Uh, in your Windows username, and then Documents, StarCraft 2, Accounts. There's going to be a number there, which I think is associated with your Blizzard account or something. So um, if you have multiple accounts, you know, you're going to have to go through in, in there. And then you're going to go into the Hotkeys folder, and in there you're going to see a text file, um, which will have the same name as whatever your profile name is. Uh, or sorry, your hotkey name, uh, hotkey profile name is in game. So test, for example, is going to be the name of the file, and it's going to have an extension of SC2 hotkeys. So you're going to open up that file in a text editor, any text editor, and you're going to see something like this. <clears throat> now, because we have added, yours might look different um, based on what you already have set up in, in your hotkeys, but what we're looking for is this line, target choose. And target choose is basically a rapid fire line. And you can add with, uh, it's, it's just a comma separated list of, of, um, of keys, right? So I can type in, it has to be capital letters, it can't be spaces, and uh, certain things like uh, caps lock or comma or um, backslash might need to be typed out. So if, you're, if it's not working, then that's probably why I'd look into maybe just binding that in the UI and then coming back and modifying file to add uh, the other keys. For example, um, this is my actual file here. Uh, you know, things like back mouse button, semicolon are spelled out. Uh, forward mouse button, that sort of thing. So if it's not working, that's probably why. Um, but anyway, you just add, you add whatever you want here. You can add, um, you know, as many as you want as well, as long as it's separated by a comma. Save the file. Okay. Now go back into the game. And what you need to do is basically reload that file. And you do that by switching to another profile and then switching back, or you can just like restart the game or whatever. But if I switched, for example, to standard, and then I go back and I switch to uh, test, which is the file I just modified, now I can hopefully hit R and rapid fire parasitic bomb. Okay. 
I can now also go back and rapid fire consume. So I've got two rapid fire keys, um, and it's really nice. This is this is something you can do as Protoss. You can set it up so that not just your zealots, but all of your gateway units can be on rapid fire to to for warp ins, that sort of thing, right? Or if you have spellcasters outside of the Viper that you know have multiple spells that you want on rapid fire, you can set it up like that. Okay, so that's uh, the second thing. The third thing I'm going to show you is how to set up your select larva hotkeys so that you don't have to worry about it anymore. And it's a, it's a kind of a similar process in that it is a... Uh, basically what we're going to be doing is going into hotkeys again, and we're going to go to Zerg, and you're going to select hatchery. You want to first add one here so that it shows up in that file that we were looking at before. Uh, but you want to select the select larva on hatchery, and you want to add an, an alternate. So, uh, for example, D, right, for drone. I'm going to add D. And what this means is, because D is also the button to build the drone, when I have my hatchery selected, now I don't have to hit SD. I can just hold down D, and it builds the drones, okay? So I want to do this for other units. I want to do this for roaches. I want to do this for overlords, or I want to do this for whatever. Well, we have to go back to that file. So we're going to go back to the file. And what we're going to see is, once I reload it here, a new line here for larva. Um, this was not here before because I hadn't modified anything. But now that it is, we have a line here that says S, D. So if I want to add roaches, R, or I want to add overlords, V, I do that similar thing to before, where I just make sure it's comma separated, capital letters, save the file, go back in game, switch my profile back and forth so that it reloads it. Okay, and now I can hold down R and it builds my roaches. I don't have to hit SD anymore or SR or S or SV. What's great about this is when you don't have any larva, like right now, I can hold down D, and as soon as that larva is available, it selects the larva and creates the drone right away. So you don't have to keep hitting SD, SD, SD. You can just hold down D. It's really nice. Anyway, um, I hope these tips help some people out there. Uh, they're really useful, and I'm not sure how many people actually know about them. So... Um, yeah, let me know if this helps you out. You can follow me at uh, Twitch on twitch.tv slash Dajan. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.